to communicate in Second Life, but um, because of a technical problem, I could we could not finish. But um, yeah, it's really interesting if we can move to different places and see different cities. Um, those are useful, but um, we still we, we discuss. We still think about the pedagogy, how to use Second Life for education. Um, how we can make it effective and um, efficient learning. Um, but first, we have to learn how to do, how to use second life properly. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you very Thank much. You much. <laughs> Thank you. John, anything you'd like to add? I think Yoshi has explained most of the things I would like to share. I, I feel that pedagogically, if we want to impl implement Second Life in the classroom setting, we need lots of technical support. And you probably need to purchase a lot of teaching aids in order to make the uh, environment interactive and authentic to language learners. And in terms of machinima? Machinima. Mm. Mm. <laughs> um, a little bit frustrating, but I think if we can make everything complete, that would be very helpful to repeat mm. the materials again and again to different students. Mm -hmm. yeah with a learning goal and predetermined purposes, that will be very effective. Yeah, and share them, you know, not the internal resources and share them with, with other teachers. And yeah. there are just as many that you share them with people working virtual boards because once you get something done, first of all, you're so happy you want exactly. to share them. And everyone. it's useful yeah. for yes. everybody. Yes. You know? If yeah. the school has a media center or yeah. learning center yeah. that the teacher can come in to be inside and record everything, mm -hmm. and that would be excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, right. Very interesting, and I think it was really good to get hands on the task and, and try it. And I can see again, if it does work, there is some interesting potential there. Um, but obviously you need to make sure that as with everything else in technology that it's working. But yeah. yeah. But maybe we should hear from people who were really successful. Not really successful. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, Those are big words. Not say that. We're well, most successful in the group. Yes. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps. Um, it's interesting, but uh, it takes a long time to get ready to get ready to work with it. A lot of these students who are now so um, accustomed to gaming and all that, they, they will have all that with them, so they will be much more um, well, efficient at yeah. moving and yeah. all that, so they won't be struggling with that aspect. It's, it's just the filming of it, and then, yeah. so... Mm. Because, yeah. of course, for us, even moving the arrows while, you know, figuring out how to get the right angles and all that, yeah. is, a bit challenging, but I expect <laughs> you know the younger generations are much easier. quicker that. So, mm. but they should definitely be able to have a product in their hand at the end of the lesson. You know, yeah. yeah so that's really would be great. If that's the task required of them, because you can be used in lots of different tasks. It could be it is an input, as we were saying, it could be something that is being shown to the students. And I think students who tackle the and work on that we have to be very comfortable in second life first or in, yeah. the, in the virtual world first and right. then in those times. Yeah. You see, right now what I'm thinking is this might be very useful when you need to demonstrate a specific aspect of language that would be very difficult. Because I was wondering, well, why not just go out with a camera, right? Mm -hmm. And make a film. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I suppose that's a possibility, but when you want to show, I'm just thinking because I'm working on tense and aspect, that's why I'm mm -hmm. interested mm -hmm. in at the moment. And of course, there are things that would be very difficult to capture in real life, I think. So maybe for that kind of thing. What well, kind of things are you doing? You can't, you know, go, sorry, you can't really go, you know, it depends on where you are. Like, I, I, live, I live in Ireland, and I can't go out of the times. And when I tried in Italy, I had all sorts of problems with people who didn't take me very happily. Yeah. And so I stopped even taking pictures with, you know, all sorts of paranoia yeah. or, you know, or worries. So yeah. that's actually a way because you would find a lot, you know, 
we have kind of staged everything. But there's a lot of people still, for a while, hopefully, in Second Life, from all different backgrounds and, and cultures and languages. And they're usually very happy to take part in things. So if you have some sort of half script or even written conversation, they're usually quite happy to be recorded. Mm -hmm. And you can have really kind of natural, authentic situations as if you were in the country. Mm -hmm. Any other thoughts? Perhaps uh, a little uh, problem with this kind of uh, support uh, is that in, in the language, uh, it's important to have uh, the, the facial uh, emotion, <coughs> so uh, we understand less uh, what is what the character says because we don't have these signals. Mm. And perhaps uh, it represents a, a, a little problem. Mm. Because you can't rely on... Uh, when, when, when you, you learn a language, uh, it's important to to really understand what uh, the, the person... Meaning. Yeah. Yeah. The meaning. And the nonverbal. You, you, you lost a part of the language. Mm. It's very interesting, this, yes. Uh, and it goes both ways, because um, this machinima is called multimodality in action by some researchers, particularly, especially because it allows for so many different modes, but at the same time, because as we were talking about avatars and their facial expressions and um, gestures not being very realistic, mm -hmm. yeah, that could be problematic. But again, as Susanna is saying, you've got access to native speakers to um, yeah so that would be interesting practice an example if a character make irony <laughs> yeah. we can't yeah. understand yeah. we, we understand yeah. The, yeah. the first uh, degree yeah. but not the yeah. second it's too uh, basic you know there are only a few emotions in mm. the end yeah, that you can reproduce and yeah uh, Lived language is so much more complex, right? So but then it's more complex in uh, Second Life because you have the chat, you can write, you have different ways of communication. Mm -hmm. And uh, the positive thing that, for example, in a classroom, that uh, ch uh, with children, with younger or younger people, if people make a mistake, you can't see that the, the avatar is laughing, hey, mm. you made the mistake, yeah. or something like that. So yeah. it is a more safe environment, and people mm -hmm. feel happier to yeah. communicate. So that's the other side yeah. of the medal. You know, they're always positive Absolutely and negative. Right. But it's also yeah. a very yeah. interesting challenge to convey irony. In even second life, but even in real life, mm. yeah. because you know, unless the competence, the student, the learner's competence is a very high level culturally as well, it's not easy anyway. Is it? Mm. Mm. Even after leaving for a very long time, sometimes you never really get that. Yeah. Yeah. In Ireland, the subtle, yeah. 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 And even in the same yeah. country where you live, you know. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's like like humor. It's difficult as yeah, well. Yeah, that's correct. But it's possible. We have the winky smiling. Uh, for instance, we have those smileys yeah, in Skype. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. to, just in order to signalize. Yeah, it's yeah, not it's yeah one hundred percent. Yeah, like I said. But for I'm teaching Italian, and Italian without irony is just not getting the, the language <laughs> at all. Yeah. So you have to get it, and this normally you you understand in yeah in reality. You know, you see the person and you think, oh, oh, everybody's like, oh, it's not, okay, yeah. And then you get it. I don't know how you could uh, simulate that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, there is an interesting series of machinima on jokes. Yeah, I did. That you produced <laughs> with Carol. <laughs> Um, those would be interesting to watch and see whether you know there is added meaning there. <coughs> How does that compare to the actual joke in real life? 